Okay, we're back here, and we were talking about IO stat. Before we leave the earlier commands, I should mention that if you find SAR a little bit intimidating and hard to use, um, yes, it is. Uh, SAR is really the, the the big, powerful monitoring tool, but it is hard to use. Um, most of us primarily use something like TOP and resort to SAR when we really need a more powerful tool, and that, that's the only time we use SAR. Um, so don't feel bad if SAR strikes you as a little bit overkill and confusing. Um, let's go to IOSTAT. IOSTAT it, it, it is another one of these commands that has a continuous mode where you can run it continuously. Let's run IOSTAT over, say, a 20-second interval. If I added a command, a second guy like this, I believe it would run it 10 times over that 20-second, or it would run it 20 seconds, and then the next 20 seconds, and the next 20 seconds, and the next 20 seconds for 10 times. Uh, in my case, if I don't put a variable after that, it just runs it forever, continuously. So let's look at what IOSTAT does for us. Um, let's give it about 20 seconds, and we'll see the type of information it's giving us. It tells us a little bit about the CPUs, but what it really does <coughs> is it gives us uh, HDA, which is one of the disks in this system, HDB, which is in other disk in this system, and it says that basically there was uh, zero reads per second um, on both disk. Zero, well, and there were some writes on HDB. HDB happens to be where the Linux disk is, so maybe I swapped some data down to that disk. Maybe the system wrote to a temp file. Who knows? Um, let's, but. If you watch this, this is going to remain pretty constant at that. HDA is pretty much unused. Let's look at what's on my disk here. I notice that the HDA disk is mostly uh, Windows data. So let's go over here and let's run a command. Let's run um, find on slash Windows. Um, and we can just pipe all of this to um, the null file. So what should this do to my, um, my disk, disk usage here? Well, it should, I would expect the HDA will come up. HDB, not much is going to happen because I'm, I'm not doing anything on HDB. So let, let's, let me just let that guy go now. And let, first, let's take a look at this. We see a system that, you know, well, not much is happening. OK, it's off. And um, OK, right away on HDB, we see that uh, things have picked up, which could well be various things. Um, um, associated with, whoa, well, that's one reason that didn't work well. Um, let's, let's go back here, um, type this in again. Minus name. I think I I had bad syntax there. This syntax is better here. OK, now notice that it has not come back yet. And let's watch it, what happens here. When you're just waiting here, 20 seconds can be a long time. Oops. Well, I don't know. I'm not doing well there. 
oh, maybe I don't have proper access rights. Let me become root. Now let me type in that same command. No. Maybe there's just not enough data there. Okay, now we're starting to see things pick up. Okay, now I finally we started to see things picking up on SDA where we're getting more disk reads on that. We're not getting many writes because what the find command is reading and it's not writing anything to that disk. So we wouldn't expect the writes to pick up. Only the reads are picking up. And that job is done. So. Basically, we saw it pick up for a couple sessions, and that was about it. Um, um, that's fine. Uh, that makes the point. So let's um, kill that. Let's go back and see what we've got for other, um, other commands. It says we're out of time, so we'll um, end here. and pick up again with a little short bit.